ranking every upcoming DC movie by how excited I am for them. In last place is The Authority. They're kind of described as like a more brutal and cynical version of the Justice League and Anti-Justice League, if you will. I'm not gonna lie, I am not familiar with these characters at all, so it could definitely surprise me, be something like a Guardians, a bunch of characters I'm not familiar with that become fan favorites, but as of right now, I'm not really excited for this one. At number seven, I have James Mangold's Swamp Thing movie. He's come out and said a bunch of details about this movie, kind of, that he wants it to be a new, fresh take on the origin of this character which sometimes is a good thing sometimes is a bad we're really just gonna have to wait and see he also said he wants it to be kind of like a noir mystery thriller which i'm kind of all bought in for that style of tone for a swamp thing movie now i'm kind of very mixed on james mangold's films overall he's made some really great ones and some really mediocre ones so hopefully this leans towards the great side at number six i have batman the brave and the bold if you asked me like a month ago this was honestly one of my least anticipated upcoming superhero movies and it was only because i didn't think we needed the batman universe and this is going on at the same time but listen I've kind of come around in this movie I do think James Gunn is gonna cook and I do know if he want to get like a Justice League in the future of his DCU it is going to be important to have a separate Batman movie in this universe plus James Gunn has come out and said he wants to focus a lot on the Bat family in this DCU version of Batman so maybe characters like Dick Grayson Barbara Gordon as Batgirl and maybe even Damian Wayne will show up down the line which I am kind of excited to see how they do in a movie because the only other real times we've seen these characters and like a Robin in Batman films was the terrible Batman Forever and Batman and Robin movies. So that's actually why I'm kind of rising on this film because I don't think the Bat family is something we're ever going to get to in Matt Reeves' The Batman trilogy that he's cooking over there. So it is going to be neat to see how this is playing out in this. It all depends on the casting of who they get for Batman though. At number five for me is Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. This is a huge jump up in how excited I am for this one because I am actually pretty hyped to see this. It's been way too long since we've had a solo Supergirl or Superwoman just main movie movie out there in theaters. Cast Millie Alcock, I'm not gonna lie, I only know her from the House of the Dragon in season one when she played young Rhaenyra, but I thought she was incredible in that. I think she's gonna be great for this role, and I really hope this can be great. It all just depends on how good this DCU starts with Superman, though, so hopefully that's a good setup for this movie. At number four, I have Joker 2. This movie seems like it's leaning even further into the just pure chaos and insanity angle. We know it's gonna be a musical with over 15 songs. A lot of people are out on that, and listen, I'm not a musical guy whatsoever, but I'm not gonna lie, it kind of has me hyped because I think this is just gonna be an absolutely insane theater experience. It's gonna feel like an acid trip. Plus, we're gonna be getting a really new take on Harley Quinn. I know some people are mad because they said, hey, we're dropping pretty much everything you know about the character, her original origin, the accent. It's a completely new take. I'm honestly all for it. I'm always for new versions of classic characters. Can't wait to see what Lady Gaga does in this. Let me know your top three most anticipated DC movies in the comments below and make sure to like the video if you haven't already. But at number three, I have the live action Teen Titans movie. Now, this one is probably the farthest out of any of these projects it's pretty much the only updates we've been getting on this film is james gunn just coming out and saying no it's not in production it's not starting filming anytime this year meaning it's probably going to start late next year and we probably won't see this until like 2026 or 27 so it's very far away but i am still super excited to see these are some of the most iconic DC characters, especially for people my age that grew up with the Teen Titans show and stuff, and I cannot wait to see them in this movie, in this new universe. It's going to be absolutely peak. At number two is James Gunn's Superman movie coming out next year. This is going to be the first movie in this new DCU, and I cannot wait to see what James Gunn has cooking. I feel like he just knows his character so well. He knows this movie has to be a hit to set this universe off on the right foot, and he's proven himself with the Suicide Squad and Guardians movies. He knows what he's doing with these characters. He knows how important Superman is. He's not going to let us down. I think he's really going to make this just a heartfelt and emotional movie. It's going to hit on all the right levels. I love the entire cast that they have for this. I think their choices are incredible, and I know it's going to be great. Number one, no surprise, it has to be the Batman Part 2. If this is even a little bit of a step up from the first Batman, it's automatically going to be like a top three superhero movie of all time. It's set up to be so much peak only thing I'm hoping, I've said this before, I don't want them to have the Joker as the main villain in this movie. He can maybe be like floating around behind the scenes a little bit. I want it to be either Mr. Freeze, maybe a Poison Ivy, Hush, or any combination, like two of those, and it's going to be absolutely peak. Matt Reeves knows what he's doing.